I'm new to the YouTube community, and I have a problem with the new law that this guy created in Japan. My problem is this. My problem is, I don't like the new law in Japan that this says you can't modify a game console or in any way or have save ads there for cheating, because I don't know. For cheating. Yes, I'm aware you can copy save data from a PlayStation 4 to a USB flash drive, but as for Xbox One, you can only upload your save data and Nintendo Switch, you have to pay a 20, you have to pay a $20 service a month just to even back up to a cloud. And that's just some of it. So my problem is this. There's a new law in Japan that, that says, that says you can't, yeah, already, you can't, you can't modify. I just repeat it again. You can't modify save you can't modify save data with a save editor so i don't know what they're talking about a save editor or a program like the playstation 4 save wizard or let's say or or you can uh, modify game console perfectly first of all we're not already paying the money we want so second of all so second of all why should we so why should we so why so second of all why should we we already pay for the console, new or used, and they already got. We already supported them by paying for it that way. So why should we have to go to, uh, you know, prison? At first, I thought it was just a misdemeanor. Misdemeanor where you, a misdemeanor is where you go to jail for like a few weeks and you get hit with community service or something like that. It says, or a fine, or a fine like that, or a felony is where you go to, where you go to court and then you are sentenced to prison and. It, sends it to prison for a few years in a maximum security prison or a, there is a such thing as a minimum security prison but but both show up on your record now that's how law in Japan I think that is insane that that is even law in the first place look I understand that there are lots of people selling you know devices devices out there that have hundreds of games and emulators on it and lots of ROMs and lots of arcade games out there but out there on the internet and there are just and those devices and those machines are just basically just consoles with controllers full with hundreds of pirated ROMs downloaded from ROM sites and internet. I understand that. I understand that. I understand that companies like Nintendo, Bethesda, Ideal Factory, Konami, Capcom have to protect their intellectual properties. I understand what they're doing, but why but why send your why send but why send your fans to jail? Why why send your fans to jail for for modifying a console? Modifying a console. I think people who sell stuff like that are just selling for their own personal profit. I think it is Nintendo's right, or Konami's right, or even Capcom's right to go after them because those games are their intellectual properties. I also I also think I also think if you buy a new console, you should be able to do exactly what you want. With it in any way, shape, or form, where you want to modify it, even if you don't plan to update the system software, it's your console. If you want to take it apart down to bare pieces, that's up to you. Now, about the save, about the save editor thing, I think that one's just insane. Yes, people have used save data to cheat in online matches, but they have never cheated at a tournament. And this is just ridiculous. This is just ridiculous for this to even pass in Japan. You would think a law like that would pass in the US, but that's just ridiculous. For the new target save editors, I mean, somebody modified their save data. So you're telling me. So here, what they're telling me: one, 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 that these laws are completely fair, and we should support this. I'm sorry, completely fair. Support this. Well, first of all, here's how I feel about supporting this. I hope jabbing these people aren't narcs. They don't snitch on each other. You know, write each other out, tell each other, tell that other people have been modifying the comments. I hope lots of people aren't really willing to say anything to the. The police or the government that somebody's modified your console. The only way you could probably get caught unless you post something online in Japan that explicitly said you bought a new console, you modified it. And first of all, that shouldn't be any anyone's business you modify a game consoles. I just think game consoles are just afraid of people this. I think game consoles like Nintendo, you know, lots of these different game consoles are just afraid that people are just going to buy one of these and modify it and, and put lots of ROMs and emulators on it. That's what I think. That they're really afraid of. They should just come around and say that instead of just making a new law. Second of all, I already said I hope Japanese people aren't snitches. Second of all, you don't have to support this. I mean, these next generation consoles, you don't have to support this. 
You don't have to go out and buy the next generation of consoles, buy hundreds of thousands of millions. You don't have to support. That's a good way of showing you don't like the law is not supporting it, not buying the newer systems, not gigging them, just letting them sit there on the store shelf and collect dust. Because me, I'm at the point where I'm not sure is I want to buy a next gen console because of this law. Because all this is really doing is pissing me off. It's pissing me off. So, so yeah, I think, I think that this new law is is is, is stupid and it makes me think. Why should I buy the newer generation of consoles anyway? Now, me personally, I do love gaming. I do, I do love gaming as a whole. But all this stuff they're doing is just starting to just make me sick and turn my stomach as a gamer. Now, what about now? Now, what about now? Yeah, I'll, I'll, what about that? Yeah, I just want to. Now, what about something else? Sorry, I lost my train of thought. I just want to speak my mind and say it's ridiculous and if this leads to a second video game crash, let me explain what a video game crash is. A video game crash happened in 1982 where people in the US stopped buying video game consoles and it was impossible to sell video game consoles by the low hundreds because things were much different back then. It only happened in the US. It was like for three years it was impossible to sell video games and video game retailers. That was a complete video game crash. Lots of game companies didn't make any money. And, and lots of game companies didn't make any money until Nintendo put out a new console which restored the market. Yeah, it kind of, but it could lead to a second video game crash where you and I don't buy newer generation of consoles, controllers, or any of that stuff. We just quit supporting the market and just let it go under. That's a bigger way to support you don't like the wallet. Show with your wallet. Don't support them. And you can also reach out to your local congressman in your area. You can also reach out to your local congressman in your, your area. Well, anyway, I ranted enough. I hope you guys got the point of this, that this new law in Japan, I don't know what it's called. I don't know what it's called. The one that says you can't modify game console in any way or can't use save editors sucks. Personally, I think it's insane. I think it's BS, and I hope people aren't narcs, and I hope people are willing to spread the law, spread the word on, spread the word that this new law sucks. And I hope I'm not the only person who feels like this. You can leave your thoughts in the comments down below. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time, later.